There are surprisingly quite few games set in the South. Population aside, the Southern culture in the US is distinct and hugely influential, and its biomes are fun to explore, both virtually and in real life. It's thanks to the South's unique charm that even non-American gamers have a vague idea of this region. Most gamers breeze through games completely set in the South or stages in the Southern inspired areas like Resident Evil 7 and many from Left 4 Dead 2's levels. And while American gamers may debate which state counters the South, one thing they can agree on is the authentic representation of US Southern states in these titles. Number 10, South of Midnight. South of Midnight is an upcoming game due to be released in 2025 by Contrast and We Happy Few Studio, Compulsion Games. Set in the fictional Prospero, Hazel sets out to confront ancient creatures to rescue her, her mother. To do so, she must weave magic, befriend creatures in the bayou, and learn more about the magical world that took her mother away. Aside from the deep south folklore, <coughs> the game features colourful hand-painted style environments and characters animated in an almost stop-motion frame rate. Hates or evil spirits in Gular folklore are the main enemy, though actual legendary creatures like Tuto Tom are also brought up. The mysticism of the Gula and the underrepresented Creole culture are apparent inspirations in addition to the Deep South's Southern Gothic aesthetics and folk songs. Number 9, Grand Theft Auto 6. Although we are still well over a year or two away from release, Grand Theft Auto 6 teaser trailer showed enough to confirm that this is as Southern as Florida can be. With Alamas removed to span a sizable portion of the Sunshine State, Grand Theft Auto's upcoming sequel will cover all the biomes Florida has to offer. Key amongst these is Vice City, the franchise's Miami, which seems to have significantly expanded. Key West and Seven Mile Bridge were also given a loving bird's eye view, showing off the game's so far impressive water engine. The Everglades, various beaches, ports and pueblos were also shown off in the game's version of social media. As for Florida's culture, the pueblos lovingly recreated in the trailer, as well as swamp and wildlife shenanigans, beach folk and the memed but apparently real Florida men and women all point towards a parodic authenticity to GTA 6. Number 8. Norco. Norco is a 2D point and click love letter to Louisiana and a big middle finger to Shell. Through evocative pixel art, Norco depicts a depressed but beautiful cyberpunk Norco, New Orleans and Louisiana. Although stylized, Louisiana residents get a kick out of recognizing the familiar scenes painstakingly illustrated in the Southern Gothic mystery game. As for its aminosity towards Shell, parodied as Shield in game, the game makes its jams its destructive effects of pollution on communities. Also, in no uncertain terms, expresses great anger at the surveillance imposed by the company on the people they rely on for labour, yet poison and exploit. In the middle of all of this client grief is a personal tale of a daughter working through extrainment and once familiar city, now as chaotic as the rest of their country. Number 7 The Walking Dead Various Titles the South features heavily in the Walking Dead games and the franchise in general. The first Telltale game follows Lee, Clementine and their party across Georgia, where much of the TV series actually took place. A grown up Clementine ventures across North Carolina, Tennessee and Ohio for season 2. Michonis, I probably said that wrong, turn as the protagonist takes her across Maryland and Virginia. Clementine returns to the series with newcomer Jarvie to Maryland. And lastly, The Walking Dead, the final season, ends Clementine's story in West Virginia. Number 6, The Call of Juarez series. Mexico undoubtedly took the crown in terms of location for The Call of Juarez series, but southern states featured heavily in the game as well. Arkansas, Georgia and Texas played major roles in their 1860s to 1882 titles. Meanwhile, Kansas got the rub for the last game in the series. Culture-wise, The Call of Juarez series draws heavily on Wild West tropes. The first game draws on the gold rush and revenge tales, its prequel spins around bandits, the Civil War and Native Americans, while Gunslinger rounds out the series with bounty hunting infamous legendary outlaws. Make sure if you're enjoying our list to hit that like button and of course subscribe for future content. Number 5 Fallout 3 The District of Columbia is another hotly contested US state, with some claiming it's more mid-Atlantic than Southern. However, the border state where Fallout 3 takes place is defined as South Atlantic State by the US Census Bureau. Moreover, the DLC Point Lookout plots players in the titular Maryland seaside town. Fallout 3's Max and Dixon salvage site aside, the Capital Wasteland had a lot of details around neighbourhoods that surprised DC residents. Point Lookout, meanwhile, had its horrors in the swamp, 
with scares almost comparable to Wasteland's Dunwich Horror. Number 4 Kentucky Route Zero Western Kentucky is rendered by Kentucky Route Zero in moody, liminal, Edward Hopper-esque low poly art and with atmospheric storytelling that accepts the Leechian style. Forests, farmsteads, town squares, gas stations, shacks and fixtures evoke nostalgia and mystery in this version of the South displayed in museums as art. Gamers who want a one-to-one -one depiction of Kentucky should probably steer clear. Kentucky Route Zero's biggest sell is how it renders the bluegrass state in the service of the story and what it has to say about life in it. We're not distracted by eccentric art school decisions, real issues like poverty, addiction, destruction of small communities and systematic injustice float to the surface. Number 3 Fallout 76 The Fallout series takes liberties when it comes to its US locations, though each game is accurate enough to earn praise. Fallout 76 take it to the next level, despite having its version of West Virginia partly blown to bits. Bethesda's take is so accurate that West Virginia's tourist board partnered with the company to create a fictional and real life comparison map. Fidelity aside, Fallout 76's depiction of West Virginia's cultural landmarks proved educational for non-residents. Real events and sites like the Fast Norch Day, I fully said that wrong as well, and the landlocked lighthouse are blended with urban legends like the Mothman and Sheep Squash plus strange war-related structures like military bases and a bunker in a resort. Number 2 Resident Evil 7 Resident Evil 7's authenticity was highly praised by the long-time Louisiana residents when it first came out. The baker's home and the surrounding buildings crawled in with plant life, harsh mud from storms, salt mines and the gators in the swamps felt much like home for some virtual tourists. Perhaps the only sizable nitpicks about its locations are the basements, open pits and hills, which are pretty much non-existent in the south. The depiction of the bakers and notes scattered around the community and surroundings were also kindly looked on. Save for Lucas, the bakers were a pretty good approximation of southern folk prior to Evelyn's manipulations. Notwithstanding their cussing, their speech and their mannerisms were also quite familiar to southerners. And number 1 Red Dead Redemption 2 When Red Dead Redemption 2 came out, its crazy detailed map was one of its biggest selling points. The hyper-realistic game was praised for its fairly accurate mapping of the American frontier. Among the southern states, it did a fair job at depicting our Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, Oklahoma and Tennessee. Although it follows Rockstar's alternative continuity, Red Dead Redemption 2 still follows the time period's culture and historical circumstances. The Pinkertons were truly that ruthless. Women's suffrage was mostly the affair of non-working women, and racial equality was a foreign concept. Lead Arthur Morgan's reactions to these can be typical of the period, and have, have him act like a man ahead of his time. Okay, so that's it for today, so if you enjoyed it, hit punch the like button, the comment down below, of course, subscribe to the channel, follow my Twitter and Instagram, links down below, as always, of course, I'll pop my two buddies, first in the description for YouTube, need to tag titles, thumbnails, all that good stuff, so that's something you need help with, especially like I did, first in the description, download it today trust me you'll wonder how you ever got on with it and of course for our partner channels and the hit down below hit that join button support myself and the channel and of course get a huge range of benefits be greatly appreciated but of course you never have to but if you don't you have to subscribe and watch the next video or something might follow you home you never know stuff happens okay thank you very much i'll see you all again very soon